Brenna, here in this little vial is a radioactive liquid. And this detector is picking up the radioactivity and sending a signal over here to the computer. And we've recorded all the radioactivity that's coming off of that thing. Notice it started here at 60. And you are going to be able to identify that chemical by its characteristic half-life. Have you ever heard of half-life? No, I haven't. Well, here. Here's a, I, I drew one up, sort of a theoretical one. And see, here it started at 100. Now watch what happened at the end of the first time interval. It went halfway to 50%. Right, to 50, half-life, you see. Now what happened at the second hour? Well, halfway between 50 is 25, so it right. went to 25. And then it keeps going right, half uh, of... And we, in this case, I only did it for four time intervals, right? Okay, now, scientists have measured the radioactive half-life of a lot of different materials, that, and here are some of the most important ones. Have you heard, ever heard of any of these? Yeah, some of them. Uranium-238, yeah. Notice its half-life? 4.5 billion years. Yes. Okay, what is the next one? Carbon-14, 5,930 5, years. Cobalt-60, 5.26 years. Iodine-131, 8.04 days. Bismuth, 212. 60.5 minutes. Barium, 137, 2.6 minutes. Radian. Radon, that is. Radon. Yeah, radon. 220, 51.5 seconds. You notice how I arranged them? Oh, yeah, it goes from the highest, longest time to the very shortest and time. And when you say longest time, you immediately mean longest, 4.5 billion years all the way to seconds. And some of them even last longer than that. You've heard of uh, carbon-14, they use yes. that for dating things. Cobalt-60 is also used in medicine, so is iodine, so is bismuth. Barium, and radon, is you probably have heard it's supposed to be coming out in people's basements and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a radioactive material. Okay, well, from this list now, you should be able to identify what that radioactive material is. It started at 60, right? Yeah. Okay, how do you figure it's half-life? Well, the half-life of 60 is 30, yeah. and then you go across from 30, and it's just a little bit before three minutes. Just a little before three minutes, okay. What radioactive material is it? Barium-137. How do you know? Because three minutes is the closest to 2.6 minutes. Right, yes. So very good. You were able to identify an unknown radioactive material by identifying by its half-life. Congratulations. Thanks.